Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand segmentation, fragmentation and reassembly. The concepts, the basic concepts related to this, uh, uh, to this concept has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those, vi watch those videos and come back here. Because without understanding those concepts, you may not be able to understand what we are going to discuss in this class. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now let's try to understand segmentation fragmentation and reassembly and this concept is very 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 important please try to focus more on this concept watch this video as many times as possible until you get the clarity so to understand this concept we will take this uh, 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 network so inter network and these two networks are there one is uh, uh, ethernet lan and the other one is token ring and the mtu for this is 1500 bytes 1500 bytes mtu means it is maximum transmission unit 1500 bytes and the mtu for this is 500 bytes and a wants to communicate with b so the a has transmitted 100000 bytes of data 1 lakh bytes of data now how the communication happens in real world so that we will try to understand in understanding those concepts we will understand each and every concept individually so uh, here we are having a 1 lakh bytes of data now what happens is this bytes 1 lakh bytes of data will get transmitted to the transport layer the layer below the application layer so what happens here is this hundred thousand one lakh bytes of data is added with a header of 20 bytes 20 bytes and this is transport header so make a note of this so try to get this point this is th stands for transport header and this plays a very important role so in uh, we will try to understand that so now now so can this 100,000 or uh, 1 lakh bytes of data can be transmitted directly into the network layer or to the data link layer no we cannot do that because the underlying layers is having they are having it their own limitations for example if you take network layer we have discussed the concept of total length total length means including the number of bytes that can be accommodated in each and every packet should not cross 65535 bytes so we have discussed it so the total length field is 2 power 16 which means 16 bits are there means it is 2 power 16 the number of bytes that can be accommodated is 65,000 so we will write this number here it may be helpful 65,535 bytes is the limitation in the network layer and if you take this uh, uh, in the data link layer this network maximum transmi transmittable unit is 1500 bytes 1500 bytes so this uh, uh, the data the message of 1 lakh bytes cannot be transmitted into the network layer or to the uh, uh, the network to which it is directly connected so what we have to do we have to divide this entire data into small small pieces so how how that can happen so for example if this packet has to be transmitted to the network layer so what is the capacity of the network layer it is 65535 so how much data is there including the header including the header it is it is uh, 100000 it is 100,020 including the header it is 100,020 okay so now now we have to uh, what is the capacity of the network layer it is 65,000 so into how many pieces this entire data can be divided into it is divided by 65535 it is equal to 1.5 we cannot make 1.5 packet or 1.5 uh, pieces so we are we are going to divide it into two pieces so how much data we will be having in the first packet so the first packet so this entire data including the transport layer header starting from here starting from here so 
how many bytes are taken into the first packet and how many bytes are taken into the second packet so before that uh, it is one more thing that we have to understand is it is 100,020 minus 65,035 so it is approximately equal to uh, 34,000 uh, 485 so the, the this is the so the first packet should have so the capacity of the network layer is 65535 so uh, the first packet should have should have six, those many number of bytes and what we have said the capacity is included with the header included with the header so if you if you exclude the number of bytes that are required for uh, header it is minus 20 which is equal to 65,515 so these many bytes are to be taken from the data from the transport layer uh, segment we call it a segment right so starting from here we are going to take the the number of bytes that we have to take is it is 65515 so these many number of bytes the star, which is included with the transport layer header so this point is very 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 important to understand only the first piece of data the only the first piece of uh, uh, first piece is going to have the transport layer header the remaining pieces will not have the transport layer header because because this entire piece of data will be reassembled so we'll get uh, again assembled and this packet is going to get at the destination so we'll try to understand that also so from this entire data of 10 uh, 1 lakh 20 bytes of data 1 lakh 20 bytes of data we have to take the first 6, 65,515 bytes of data and to that the network layer uh, header has to be added so let's try to understand that so we have taken so this is 65,515 uh, data within this data within this data so uh, within this data we have 20 bytes of transport header so this including both this both this so this part i am talking about so okay so both of this uh, including this uh, 20 bytes of transport header and 65515 bytes of actual data combining these two is the total of is the total so this total is going to be 65535 this is the capacity of network layer right and to this 20 bytes of network header will get added so try to get this point this point is very important to understand see here 20 bytes of transport header and also uh, from the uh, from the uh, 1 lakh bytes of data we have taken 65,515 okay and to that the network header has been added what is the next piece of data the next piece of data is going to have is going to have 20 bytes of network header so this is the overhead that has been added by the network layer this is the overhead that is added by the network layer so the remaining part is going to have how many bytes of data it is 34485 these many bytes of the this is the actual data these bytes of data is the actual data and to this actual data 34,485 bytes of data the numbers may be uh, one or two uh, here and there so uh, just try to understand the logic so to this 20 bytes of network header is getting added 20 bytes of network header is added okay so now this this data has to be transmitted to data link layer so is it possible can the data link layer accommodate the things in uh, these 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 uh, this bigger size of data no it is not possible so the data link layer capacity is here the maximum transmit transmission unit is 1500 bytes only we are having how many bytes of data it is 65535 bytes of data which cannot be accommodated so this dividing the original data into pieces at the transport layer is called as segmentation 
make a note of this point dividing the actual data included with the transport header dividing that uh, uh, data uh, uh, into pieces is what we call it as segmentation and it is done at the transport layer and the data that has been transferred by the transport layer to the network layer again there is a need if there is a need for us to divide that into pieces that is what we call it as fragmentation fragmentation is done by the network layer so get that point so again we have to divide it so how to divide it we will take we will consider only this part so in the same way this packet will also get divided okay so what is this packet consists of we will take this big bigger size for visualization better visualization it is 20 bytes of network header only the first packet will have the transport header and this is 20 bytes of transport header and to this the data the actual data is 65,515 bytes now this packet has to be transferred into data link layer so data link layer means what is the frame structure the actual data is 1500 1500 bytes mtu to this to this the header and tail will get added the header and tail excluding the header and tail the amount of data that the data link layer is capable of accepting from the network layer is 1500 bytes now how this has to be done so uh, is it can we divide this into uh, pieces of 1500 bytes directly no there is an overhead of uh, 20 bytes there is an overhead of 20 bytes for each piece to which the network header has to be added okay so let's try to understand this so 1500 bytes means among with this uh, within this 1500 bytes 20 bytes should be there for network header and the actual data should be 480 bytes this is how the division has to be done okay okay let's divide this okay so now now uh, 480 bytes of data the this entire packet has to be divided into small small pieces which is uh, total of 65535 bytes divided by 1500 which is approximately equal to 43.67 67 or 67 69 so which is equal to 44 pieces if we divide this into uh, pieces of 1500 bytes each 1500 bytes each it is going to be around 44 pieces so this part this entire thing has to be divided into 50 uh, 44 pieces for example if you take this so this is our first piece and this first piece should have uh, uh, how many bytes of data it is 1480 bytes of data and to this piece and the second piece second piece should have 1480 and similarly third piece third piece should have 1480 bytes of data and similarly fifth sixth seventh eighth in that way how many pieces we can make it is 44 pieces and to this each piece to this each piece the first the only the first piece is going to have the transport header so make a note of that point how many pieces you make it may be 1000 pieces or uh, 10,000 pieces but the first piece will have only the uh, the transport header will be there so the transport header that is added it will be there only to the first piece and to that every piece the network header will get added as the job done by this uh, these pieces making into pieces or uh, fragments is done by the network layer so okay so don't go deeper so the first piece how the things will get uh, done in the transport layer because it is the first piece 20 bytes of network header network header and within this piece this is for 1480 right this uh, total length is 1480 because this is the first piece i am stressing that again plus 20 which is equal to 1500 bytes because this is the first piece it is going to have 20 bytes of uh, 
transport header and uh, this one is going to have 1460 of actual data 1460 of actual data so what can be the next packet next piece next uh, frame it is going to be 20 bytes of so the remaining part means this part this is actual data part try to get that this is actual data part and 1480 pieces of uh, actual data and to this 20 bytes of uh, network header will get added similarly the third one similarly the fourth one in that way 44 uh, different frames will get added and to this each and every frame uh, the uh, data link layer tail and the header will get added to this also the data link layer tail and the header will get added okay all so once it has been uh, sent to the data link layer then the header and tail will get added so this network header is added by the network layer so this division and adding the network layer header is the job of the network layer once it, once those packets are received at the data link layer to those packets the header and tail will get added the header of the data link layer and the tail will get added so this is what we call it as a segmentation at the transport layer uh, segmentation is done at the transport layer and uh, uh, the fragmentation is done at the the fragmentation is done at the uh, network layer and what uh, what about reassembly reassembly means all these packets so here it is getting transmitted it is a capacity of 1500 bytes again so as the capacity of this network is 500 bytes so each piece of 1500 bytes is again divided into three pieces again divided into three pieces and uh, so which means 44 into 3 44 into 3 these many number of uh, 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 data link layer uh, uh, frames will be received at the receiver and gathering all those and assembling all that uh, uh, content taking out the headers and assembling the content in the way that has been transmitted is is done at the destination at the destination reassembly will be done okay so what happens at the destination is so uh, each network layer header will be removed and this packet uh, uh, the original data will be collected from each and every piece of data here 44 into 3 pieces 44 into 3 pieces so those many number of pieces are there and from all those pieces the actual data will get collected and uh, uh, the first packets transport layer header will get attached to that original data and in this way the original packet that has been transmitted by the transport layer will be sent back from the network layer to the transport layer at the destination and to the application layer this header will be removed and this part will be transferred again back to the application layer this is how the things will work this is how the things will work in the real world okay and one more thing one more point to understand we have discussed that the fragmentation the segmentation happens at the uh, transport layer and after that fragmentation happens at the network layer and uh, for those fragments to those fragments the data link header will get added but in reality in reality the things are uh, uh, vary a little bit so let's try to understand how that happens in reality so here here okay how those things will happen in reality is okay so now uh, as we are having this much of data with uh, okay uh, this much of data with uh, uh, twin transport header okay and uh, there are some limitations at the network layer and data link layer the network layer limitations is 65535 and the data link layer limitations are uh, 1500 bytes and this is also bytes now at the sender at the sender what happens is the segmentation so that pieces are done at the transport layer it is not done uh, the uh, so what that uh, sender will do is it is a overhead right sending this to network layer and network layer again dividing it into again dividing it into pieces it is a overhead so doing the job again and again so at the sender what the computer what the computer that is sending the packet will do is uh, what it will do is it is going to identify which is the smallest uh, 
smallest uh, uh, which is having the lesser capacity whether the network layer or the data link layer there are some networks uh, underlying data link layer networks which can send any uh, as much size as possible in this modern days we can send as much data as possible into the network not only 1500 bytes okay so in that possibility in that possibility the transport layer is going to identify whether to divide so if if this is if this underlying network is capable of uh, transmitting as much data that is available so then what is the narrowest part the narrowest part is the network layer so the transport layer is going to decide whether it has to divide it into the capacity of network layer or to the capacity of trans, uh, data link layer based upon the smallest possible uh, uh, based upon the smallest availability of transmission of data so the transport layer will divide it accordingly for example assume that assume that our uh, underlying network is having only the capacity of 1500 bytes now between these two what is the best choice the best choice is 1500 bytes so this entire data at the transport layer uh, it, it will get divided into so it, it starts from here and this is uh, uh, 1480 bytes 1480 bytes and uh, the next 20 bytes uh, will be for network layer header uh, network layer header so it will make this uh, this entire data into 1480 pieces and this will get transmitted into this network layer so it is for example if you consider this uh, how many pieces uh, does this uh, entire data will be divided into it is uh, uh, divided by it is 1500 right 1500 means it is around 66.65.6 i think so so it is around 66 packets 66 pieces it has to make of 1500 bytes in that in that 1480 is going to be for data and the 20 is going to the uh, network header that is added by the network layer this happens only at the sender okay so if further the fragmentation has to be done at the router the fragments the the things will get divided into further fragments so what 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 i am trying to make you understand is so it is decided at the sender the segmentation the transport layer is going to decide into how many small pieces that entire data that needs to be transmitted should be divided into so in this case it is 1500 bytes is the smallest one uh, so 1480 pieces so 1480 again 1480 third piece 1480 fourth piece 1480 so in that way it, it is going to divide this entire data into 66 pieces and all those 66 pieces will be transferred to the network layer to each piece of 1480 to each piece of 1480 in the first piece this is included with 20 bytes of uh, transport header so this point is very important i am stressing it again and again so means uh, 1460 of actual data to this the network layer header will get added so the first piece and again the second piece uh, network header plus 1480 third piece again the same thing 1480 uh, and to this network header in that way 16 pieces are made 16 pieces are made sorry 66 pieces are made and all those 66 pieces are uh, transferred to the data link layer and to this piece of uh, to this piece of uh, 1480 and network header uh, 1480 and network header of 20 bytes to this the data link layer header and tail will get added for every piece this data link layer header and the tail will get added second piece data link layer header and the tail third piece header and tail so this is how in practice the the uh, first division is done by the transport layer and later when the packets are transmitted and uh, they have been received at the router at the router based on the capacity of the uh, network to which it has to be transmitted so in our example it is uh, 512 bytes so this piece of data of 1480 I means 1500 bytes will be divided into three pieces based upon the capacity of the uh, network to which the data has to be transmitted so this is uh, done uh, fragmentation is actually done at the routers segmentation is going to uh, e e at the sender the segmentation is done within that segmentation the 
pieces are divided into small small pieces the data is divided into small small pieces okay so this is all about segmentation fragmentation and reassembly hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching